Dengue fever is a bitter bond disease, communicable disease. Look at this mosquitoes, skin rash, fever, and dengue virus. Detail going on. Introduction. Dengue fever is a mosquito-borne viral infection that poses significant public health concerns, especially in tropical and subtropical regions. It is caused by the dengue virus which belongs to the flavi virida family dengue is endemic in more than 100 countries with millions of cases reported annually A definition A dengue fever is an acute febrile illness caused by dengue virus transmitted primarily by ADS mosquitoes it is characterized by high fever severe headache pain behind the eyes joint and muscle pain, rash and mild bleeding manifestations. Types Dengue fever is classified into two main forms. One, Dengue fever DF the classic form of the disease presenting with fever and other common symptoms. To severe dengue, dengue hemorrhage fever or dengue shock syndrome. A life-threatening condition with plasma leakage, fluid accumulation, respiratory distress, severe bleeding or organ impairment. Causes Dengue is caused by the dengue virus. DENV which has four distinct zero types DENV1 DENV2 DENV3 and DENV4 and individual infected with One zero type acquiring lifelong immunity to that zero type but remains susceptible to the others. Subsequent infection with different zero types increase the risk of severe dengue transmission dengue is transmitted to humans through the bite of an infected female ADS AG 
right r a d s albo bictus mosquitoes the transmission cycle typically involves the mosquito bites an infected person acquiring the virus and then bites another person transmitting the virus vertical transmission in rare case the virus can be transmitted from a pregnant woman to her fetus risk factors several factors can increase the risk of contracting dengue fever one living in or traveling to endemic areas mainly tropical and subtropical regions to previous dengue infection a second infection with a different zero type increases the risk of severe dengue three poor sanitation and urbanization creating environments conductive to mosquito breeding for lack of vector control in effective mosquito control increases transmission rates complications severe dengue can lead to life threatening complications such as one dengue hemorrhage fever involves plasma leakage hemorrhage and organ impairment two dengue shock syndrome can acquired due to significant fluid loss leading to circulatory failure three organ failure liver damage heart failure and kidney impairment four death untreated severe dengue can result in mortality particularly in high risk populations are like infants and the elderly pathophysiology the pathophysiology of dengue fever involves complex immuno and vascular changes on primary infection the dengue virus enters through a mosquito bite and infects local dendritic cells this triggers an immune response leading to the activation of macrophages and the release of pro inflammatory cytokines to secondary infection when a person is infected with a different zero type the immune response can become dysregulated causing an exaggerated response antibody dependent enhancement this can lead to severe disease including plasma leakage shock and bleeding pathophysiology of dengue fever step by step process first step virus entry second viral replication three immune response primary infection four antibody dependent enhancement five cytokine storm 
6 plasma leakage and humo concentration 7 thrombocytopenia and coagulopathy 8 shock and organ damage 9 resolution or progression in the absence of effective management the patient can progress to severe dengue with fatal complications such as profound shock or organ failure. This step by step process illustrates how the body's immune response to the dengue virus, especially during secondary infections, can lead to the severe manifestations seen in dengue hemorrhagic fever and dengue shock syndrome. Signs and symptoms The clinical presentation of dengue virus but the following are common one sudden onset of high fever two severe headache three retro orbital pain four severe muscle and joint pain five nausea and vomiting six skin rash seven mild bleeding eight fatigue and weakness nine severe dengue signs include abdominal pain persistent vomiting rapid breathing bleeding gums fatigue and restlessness A diagnosis diagnosis is based on clinical presentation history of exposure to endemic areas and laboratory test a laboratory test including one rt pcr detected dengue viral RNA in the early stages. Two NSA antigen test identifies dengue virus. Three IgM IgG ELISA detects dengue specific antibodies. B complete blood count CBC. 1. Leukopenia, low white blood cells. 2. Thrombocytopenia, low platelet count. 3. Hemo concentration, elevated hematocrit. Nursing diagnosis, common nursing diagnosis for patients with dengue fever may include 1. Hyperthermia related to viral infection, 2. Risk for fluid volume deficit related to increased capillary permeability and fluid leakage. Three acute pain related to muscle and joint inflammation. Four impaired skin integrity related to rash and bleeding tendencies. Five risk for shock related to hypovolemia management. 1. Fluid replacement, oral 
rehydration solutions or intravenous fluid to maintain adequate circulation and prevent shock to analgesics to manage pain and fever three blood transfusion in case of severe bleeding or significant drops in hematocrit five monitoring platelet level regular assessment to manage thrombo cytopenia six monitoring vital signs regular checks for fever blood pressure pulse rate and respiratory rate seven pain management administering analgesics like acetaminophen eight observation for complications early detection for severe dengue including signs of shock or hemorrhage six patient education teach patients about the importance of rest hydration and follow up care treatment there is no specific antiviral treatment for dengue fever supportive care includes one rest and hydration the primary treatment for dengue involves bed rest and maintaining adequate hydration to management of symptoms pain relievers and fever reducers are used three treatment for severe dengue intensive supportive care including iv fluid therapy blood products and management of organ complications is essential psychosocial medicine on emotional support patients with dengue fever may experience anxiety or distress due to severe symptoms or hospitalization counseling and emotional support can help them cope to public health awareness educating communities about dengue prevention recognizing early symptoms and understanding the diseases seriousness can alleviate fever and stigma prevention preventing dengue largely involves controlling mosquito populations and avoiding bites a mosquito control on eliminate standing water bear mosquitoes breed to use herbicides and insecticides in mosquito prone areas three introduce biological control methods such as releasing balbexia infected mosquitoes which reduce virus transmission b personal protection one use insect repellent and we are protective clothing to use mosquito nets and screens 
3. Install insecticide treated nets for sleeping. C. Vaccine. The Dunk Vaxia vaccine is available in some countries, but it is recommended only for individuals who have had previous dengue infections due to safety concerns in zero negative individuals in conclusion dengue fever is a major global health threat particularly in tropical and subtropical regions though there is no specific cure early diagnosis supportive care and effective management can reduce mortality rates prevention strategies including mosquito control and personal protection are vital for reducing the incidence of dengue public health initiatives and continued research into vaccines and treatments are essential in the fight against dengue fever thank you have a nice day